Hello everyone, welcome back. It is a lovely evening here, nice and cool, and I thought I'm just going to come on and do a little video for you. So today I want to talk about um, book pages. Now we like to add book pages into our journals, but sometimes we stuck with the pages that aren't maybe that exciting or a little bit, you know, too much of sort of text that you perhaps not keen on or maybe images you're not keen on i know i have lots of pages and i think oh no that's not going to work or i don't like that image or that's really not appropriate or, or anything like that so i thought um that i'd share some of my tips with you today so i hope that you're going to find that helpful right so i've got a collection of book pages here i'm looking to put them into my spring splendor journal um, so some of the ideas and some of the solutions, even for those loose book pages. Right. So um, I have uh, what I've done with this particular one, which is has quite a lot of uh, writing on it. I've tea stained it. I've just drizzled some um, red bush tea on here and um, it's created really quite a nice um, visual. I think there are a lot of um, insects on here. But I'm going to show you what we can do with this in a little bit. Um, and the side I've left plain. And I'm going to show you what we can do with this page. All right, so that's it. Um, I've got these where I love that page. It's a beautiful nature page. But then um, some of the other pages, like here, are not as exciting. <laughs> and here we've got a lot of caterpillars. I don't mind caterpillars. I don't like snakes. So uh, as long as there are no snakes, I'm all right. But we can make this a little bit more exciting and we'll get to that as well. Now, uh, what I've gathered are a couple of napkins, paper napkins. So um, I've just gathered three here from my selection and we're going to use these to make those a little bit more exciting. So why don't we get going with that now? Let's start with the one over here. That's uh, pretty much um, quite dull compared to the other pages that are here like that so I want something a little bit more exciting now the first thing you need to do when you are doing this is probably trim the pages that's usually what I do but because I want to add some bits to this um, I'm going to trim once I've completed this so now I'm just going to look for uh, one of these types of napkins and I think this one sort of blends in with what I've got here and with the theme I'm working on. So we're going to use this now to um, really easily just make it a little bit more exciting. So the first thing you want to do is get your hold of your napkin. With this napkin, you have a number of layers, um, usually three. So what I find the easiest way to do is just to take some sellotape. I'm just going to wrap this as a new roll. I'm just going to wrap this around my finger. <laughs> that and uh, we'll just put that there and then what you want to do is just take this press the tape on here and you should be able why did I do it with my left hand there we go um, and you can pull off one of those layers immediately now this one might only have two I'm not sure that it has another one let's see does it it does it does there we go so you want to pull off so that you get down to the the base layer which is that top pretty layer there so let's just take off a piece of this now um, this is a repeat print which is usually the case or often or always but and I don't want to mess up any potential flowers that I could use so I'm gonna cut around there between these two there we go i'm choosing this because they look a little bit more wild flourish compared to the others and i'm going to just take this off my finger so that i don't get it stuck on everything but yeah tape is the way to go so you want to pull the initial layer off then we found with your tape we managed to lift a layer which i didn't even think there was another layer so gently does it gently does it you want to pull off that second layer really easily carefully <laughs> i'm trying to go fast but not too fast yeah so there we go now i'm sure there's something we could find to do with this so we won't throw it away just yet 
And then what I wanted to do is just find some bits on here that we could add to our page. So I quite like this bit on the corner here. Um, uh, so pop it, you can cut with your scissors. I do have a water brush here, any brush. And what I find easiest is just to, there's just water in here. And this is actually used for some water pens. Um, but I use it for this. <laughs> there we go, there's some water. But anything where you can just drizzle some water. And I'm just going around my flower with this just to make it wet on the edges like that. And I'll show you why. Because you can now just gently pull that and wherever the water went, it will come away. There we go. So I don't want it to ruin that flower and I'm trying to get this one. This is a tricky set, set, set up over there. But yeah, you can just pull it gently and if you've got a little situation like I have here then go around with your scissors just because they're intertwined and it gives it a rougher edge that's going to blend a lot better and I'm just going to cut that bit off there so we're sort of intact right so then what you want to do is just take your glue um, I think on this section I measured and I needed to be no higher than nine so I'm just mindful of the edges here. I think I'm gonna put this sort of over here, like that. So just take your glue stick and um, rub that over the area. And then very gently place this where you want it to go, like that, I think. And then from the middle, just work outwards and just pat that on from the middle I sort of find and it'll erode those little dots <laughs> as well <laughs> there you go and then just pat it gently and now it'll look like it was there the whole time yeah there we go now I do have a little brush a little brush here if you find you need to go over it now i will go over it with a little bit of wet glue in a minute but generally i just use my glue stick like that for the edges i'm um, just wanting to get that section there we go there we go no mod podge required mod podge required okay so that will dry on its own and then we can go on to the next section now i'm very mindful of the length of this page and I'm going to cut this off straight away. Let me just see what I'm cutting. Oh no, that, that is there. So there we go. So for my journal, I can't go higher than the page, which is 8.25. So that is where my pencil comes into play. And it needs to be here. So that's where I'm going to chop it off. So, um, of course, you can fold it up, make pockets and all those lovely things. And I encourage you to do that if that's what you want to do. Then go ahead and do that. But I think for this one, I'm not going to do that because I quite like uh, the different things. Right, so that's it. I've got the, the, the length and that right. Um, I keep those pages, really nice quality paper. I'm happy with that. So that's going to be the length of my width of my book page so now I know right these I don't tend to chop off because I like the pages I would probably just fold this over all right now I can always stick something on there or I could leave it as it is or embellish that up but now I know exactly what I'm dealing with and now um, you can either make it a pocket or just something that folds out now I love that picture it's so pretty and I like this one too but it is just a little bit too wide for my my journal pages so I'm just going to fold that like that so now I'm looking at this all right so then again um, we go back to this and we can find something else to put on here and I quite like that little pink one on the edge I seem to be sticking with the edge ones and that's the same as that so I'm going to go with the pink one here so again just get your water
and then all the way around. Now this dries obviously, so just put that there and then very gently just ease it off. If you wanted to, but I'm trying to make it blend in with the page as much as possible. There we go. So I've got that little bit there and I might just add that over there. A little bit higher maybe. Or there. If I put this over here, then I can put one more over there, can't I? So again, you just want to take your glue stick and whatever is excess, you can it will just dry. So no worries. And then we can just put that on there. And then again, start from the middle and then just move your way to the center. And there we go. I love it when the, the, the text comes through it like that. Isn't that amazing? Right, so it, looks, it just looks like it was there the whole time and I love that. Right, and now we want one for this top area and I think it's going to have to be um probably the daisy so i might need to cut this a little bit more because i think i overdid it with the water but that's we'll, we'll just see how it looks with the cutout one i know that um i tend to find that the corners aren't as they don't look as blended and a little bit more you know but we'll we'll, we'll give it a go so we'll just pull that out there <laughs> i tore it a bit but that doesn't matter we'll, we'll sort it out right so up at the top Here we go, and then we can just put that over there like that. And then we'll just coax it out with our nail, and we'll sort it out as we go. So we're going from the middle to the sides. Get that little piece. Pat, pat, pat. <laughs> um, there we go, look at that. Where's the brush? Brush is more gentle than my fingers. And just any little creases that you might have, you you know, you can't go wrong. Just just any brush. Right, I've got something there. It looks a bit dryish there. So I'm going to just rub the glue over. There we go. All right, so that would be pretty already, isn't it? All right, so we could add now a nice sentiment on there. We can add some whatever we want on there. So there's that. And I think that looks a lot better. Now, with this, I would end up opening that up. I might use that as a tuck spot that I don't fix down or I might fix it down. But that just gives you an idea of what to do with a page like that. All right. So just in case you're wondering. And a similar thing with this. So, for example, um, especially on the on here it might not look um so exciting let's just take the little bunny and i'm going to just trim him um and see how that goes got another bunny and there's lots of other animals here so let's see are we going to put the bunny over there <laughs> You can make your own arrangements here, your own scenes, you know. So let's just stick it down just over there. Now I'm not going to do the whole thing, um, but I will take a picture of it at the end for you to see. And it's amazing how these little uh, dimples in the, the serviette or the napkin just disappear. Like they were never there. And the, this just sort of melts into the the page which is just amazing so you see you don't need to have fancy things to do this a glue stick does the job and it's all going to dry perfectly well and that looks like it was there the whole time all right so now you get the idea of what to do with this and I'll, I'll add some more bits and share that with you all right and then the last little bit that i wanted to share with you still with book pages is and i've got a couple of mine here so I've got these, which I love. These are the um, A to Z of florals. Um, love these. So I've got two of those I'm going to add. This is the beginning book. And of course, um, you might not exactly want that. So the 
a floral ABC is by Elizabeth Cameron, if you're wondering. I often get people asking me. This is the title page, and I quite like that, so that's all right. And then these, I'm going to put one into each of my signatures. So I'm happy with that. And then I've got this one, which is really pretty. Look at that. Beautiful azaleas and gorgeous, gorgeous um, images there in patterns um and bramble bramble apple blossom love that gorgeous japonica it says okay so i like that and i will just trim that down so that's it but now oh and that book uh, that page came out of this book here's flowers for you by frida tifford beautiful with all these gorgeous um uh buildings so that's a church in Sussex and the Royal Brighton Pavilion. So it's got beautiful sketches as well. Right, so what I wanted to share with you is I have often got pages and I love that. But on the back it looks like this or there's a load of writing on the other bit or I can't get them out and then I'm just left with these single sheets. And how do we add that other than making envelopes? How do I add this into my actual journal when I really love that page? So here's two of them that sort of have similar kind of colours and they both got writing on the back. But there's nothing stopping you adding some of your napkin there or a pocket or something with a pr printed um piece of paper and I've got the same with these two here as well yeah so this is what I do so I've got these two for example um, and I've got this these strips of paper these strips of paper are the length of my page and one and a half inches wide okay and this is what I do with that I take my first page so we're gonna have this one on this side and I take my glue now I'm going to use my glue stick because I will end up stitching this so I'm going to just run that down there like that uh, you don't have to stitch it you can just use a better glue a stronger glue right so if we put that there and just lining this up here that's all and then I go about not quite halfway so I've got that there and then quickly just turn it over to see that I've got it pretty even here I think so like that yeah and we can just run that like that a little bit more glue and then I'm going to take this one um, and put it on the other side I'm just leaving a little bit of a gap in the middle just so that remember I've got to sew this into my signature so I don't want to bulk it up too much in the middle here but then you just want to take your other piece which is exactly the same one and a half wide in the length of your book page and then I'm going to just put that on top there and meet it up with the bottom like that yeah there we go now what i would go and do now that looks really pretty doesn't it we now have them joined but what i would go do when this is dry is just stitch along there for my own purposes um and then it's going to look beautiful so um yeah let me do that quickly and i'll be right back. okay so i've done it with two this with the yellower one and this one with the peach so you can see just sewn that there and that one there and then on the underside just take your bone folder and run it over makes those holes small again like that yeah and then what you want to do is just look for the middle here so I can see where that is just going to use my pencil I'm using the light just to see where that is right and then you want to just run your bone folder in the middle there 
and now you can just fold that over like that there we go and now that's ready to go into your journal yeah and that's all you need to do so yeah just fold those really easy i'll do that one in a bit so there you go you've got those ready to go and on the other side you can put little pockets you can add um you know writing spaces you can put some um, different type of napkin in there and pretty it up i mean there's so many things i've given you just a couple of suggestions today um you know you can go and make one side like this with um, dropping some tea or spraying it with tea or coffee um, and using these in your book pages as well now what I like to do is um, with very long ones I either trim them down or I fold them up and make pockets so you can do that as well so lots of great ideas to use those and then of course this, how lovely is this this is lovely and dry now it feels great ready to go not as boring as it was before and now i've got another little insert that i'll add um, into the journal and you'll see how these all um, pan out when i come up with little decorating bits you know um, on the edges here so I, I think for that one um i would probably make this a fixed um tuck spot and put um, some green or something there and put something on that one. But this one, because I love that image there, and I love that there, I would make this a temporary tuck spot um, or just leave it so that I can open it up when I want to admire it. So there we go. I hope that gives you some little ideas about what to do with book pages that maybe aren't so exciting as some of the others that we have. All right, everyone, go and have a great time playing around and crafting away. Go and look for all those book pages you put aside and, and thought to yourself, oh, no, I can't use that. And let's have some, um, some fun uh, giving them a bit of life and excitement. All right, have a great weekend. I know it's Father's Day. Um, so if you, uh, happy Father's Day to all those fathers or all those fathers that support all the mothers, you know, especially those ones. Um, happy Father's Day to all of you. Uh, not that any of them would be listening really, or very few. But um, yeah, we've got to think about our fathers as well, don't we? And the fathers of our children. All right, everyone, I will see you on Tuesday with another little video. Um, yeah, we were getting near to um, starting our new journal, and I've pretty much sent out almost all of my um, parcels. I've got another lot to do tomorrow, so um, you should receive a reference email with your um, tracking numbers from me if you're wanting to know. It'll be there on my webpage with your tracking number. Um, or if you've ordered from Etsy, your, your tracking number is on the order page that you've done. So you can follow the journey and hopefully it's with you very soon. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. See you all soon. Bye.